winning. Wake up every day and write a new page. Cause we all got the power to make change. You wanna tell me what I can while I focus on my excellence. excellence. What are the roots of the knowledge I manifest? Passing the torch of the truth and intelligence. Bring life to all Bronx residents. Rise. our presentation. The title is Mathematical Strategies, How to Tackle Problem Solving in an Urban Community Classroom. Rosary Yaro Children's School is located in District 9, where the students have the lowest education level in New York City. Compared with results from all New York City schools, overall, our students' results showed remarkable improvement. In 2020, New York State Interim Education Commissioner Shannon Tahoe identified our school as one of 582 highest achieving schools across New York State. We are now ranked among the top 13% of the 4,782 public and charter schools in the state. The school is successfully used the Singapore Math Program and Lesson Study. The lesson study community started in 2018 with a Japanese leader, me. Research lessons helped students develop higher order thinking. Students report their own ideas to help them with understanding thinking processes. We believe that lesson study develops lifelong learners as teachers become independent thinkers, problem solvers, and researchers. As an educational community, we found that our students were struggling with problem solving. After we looked at our data, we discovered that our students struggled with the ability to compare, to comprehend the problem, mainly because of their struggle with reading comprehension. Students had difficulty with being able to identify the critical information needed to solve the problem. Our students also struggled with being able to identify the correct operation to solve the problem or which strategy to use. Most importantly, there is mathematical learning taking place. Instead of simply explaining one's mathematical strategy, students critically analyze each other's work where new mathematical learning is taking place. Solutions are displayed on the board from least complicated to more complex problems. Here, solutions are written and compared side by side. The differences of the solutions are talked about to address any misconceptions. Also, open-ended questions to guide students' thinking are displayed and general rules and characteristics are identified. Students also come up with viable arguments about each solution. This is where the new learning piece comes in. Students are not just explaining the solution, but comparing and contrasting. The purpose of the four lessons conducted at Rosalind Yellow Charter School was to observe solving word problems. We focused on the following in each grade. In kindergarten, we focused on students' ability to select the correct information to solve a word problem. In first grade, the focus was on the ability to create a number sentence and taking apart situation in subtraction word problems. In third grade, the focus was on the use of tape diagrams along with a variety of strategies and note-taking skills to solve word problems. In fourth grade, the focus was on the use of a model to represent known and unknown variables. The staff at Rosalind Yellow Charter School discussed how difficult word problems are across all grades. The lesson study team determined that the purpose of our first research lesson would be to introduce word problems at a very early age, along with the use of math terms and problem solving to begin building the foundational skills necessary to identify and solve word problems. According to the data gathered through the research questions distributed to three first grade classes and five kindergarten classes, it showed that most students refrain from using number sentences when solving the problems. Students focused heavily on counting and showed little to no work. Here's our board plan. The purpose of the board is to show the flow of the lesson and give students the ability to look back on what they have discussed during the lesson to help them strategize and solve the problem. 
Implementing research lessons enhance students' math learning. Students have begun using higher order thinking questions and cues by selecting a math strategy. Students use a variety of math strategies, including visual representations to show how to solve word problems. Through implementing lesson study and professional development, teachers change their level of understanding of the math curriculum and improve their math lessons. For example, the teachers began to pay attention to their hypothesis when they wrote math lesson plans. When they started creating the lesson study research proposal, they were not clear about what they wanted to research. However, they became more aware of the students' needs to improve their understanding of math concepts and have a clearer vision of the research um, and their hypothesis. We know this is working because as students practice, they will become better and they showed improvement in state standardized scores.